I'm like nervous. Okay, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Marina and I make a lot of like fitness, educational related content. And today is just gonna be a day in my life. See, I literally don't feel like myself. It's been like two weeks since I've recorded anything. We've been traveling a lot, which has been really cool. And I've been super busy, which has also been really cool. I've also been wanting to do like an actually really good job on here, like make really quality stuff so that it can help the most amount of people, right? Nobody wants to look at some raggedy ass video. So all of those things kind of culminating together, it has made me almost like be fearful of picking up the camera. And so today I was just like, dude, fuck it. Just speak from the soul today, speak from the heart, have fun with it. So. Literally today's just gonna be a full day of my life. What am I eating? How am I training? What am I doing? The thing is my life is pretty boring and that my day to day looks really similar. So if you've watched a day in my life before, you're gonna see a lot of the same things. <laughs> but in my experience, I love seeing my favorite internet people doing the same thing over and over. Really, it's just about spending time with them, hearing what's going on in their mind. I don't know, I think it just can be really relatable. It can just be very, it makes you feel less alone, right? That we're probably all going through very similar things. That's my idea for the video for today. I was supposed to have a call at seven with a client, a training call, and then another client was supposed to come in at eight, but <laughs> the seven canceled last minute. It's the nature of the gig. And then my 8 a.m. is running a little bit late. And actually me and her, were just gonna go on a little walk. I, I built a little gym in my basement. So my clients come to my house. A lot of my clients come to my house to train with me. But today she was like, can we just go for a little walk? And I was like, sure girl, let's do it. I don't know, sometimes you just need a little walk, a little hot girl walk. And this is definitely something I've utilized in the past. Like if my clients are having a difficult time showing up, simply going on a walk, a lot of times can be enough, right? in the game of sustainability, in the game of just making sure you're showing up, sometimes modifying a workout to make it more digestible can really help the person keep up that, momen that momentum so they can keep fucking showing up and they don't quit on themselves, you know what I mean? So if this is what she needs right now so she doesn't quit on herself, I'm very happy to oblige. But with that being said, the reason why I wanted to explain <laughs> my schedule this morning was because I had a quick um, pre-breakfast. I didn't have time to make a full breakfast so we will be able to have breakfast together after this client. I already had my, my cup of coffee though. Another thing that I've been hesitant to post about is my reverse dieting journey. For a lot of reasons, I think it's so funny because the reverse diet, right? The building season when we're fluffier and we're not trying to get as lean as possible, that's where the bulk of the bodybuilding work is happening. That's where we're building muscle. That's like, we should be taking the off season just as seriously, if not more seriously, right? Than the, the shredding season. Not that I'm like a professional bodybuilder or anything, but I sure, sure as hell like to act like it, you know? I just like, uh. So yeah, I think I've been like wanting to upload more reverse dieting content, but with the reverse diet, like you don't see as big of changes as you do with a fat, like with the fat loss phase, you're seeing changes every single week, right? At least changes on the scale, changes in your, in your shape, right? Um, changes in the protocol, like how many calories you're eating, how much cardio you're doing, how many steps you're getting in. Whereas with the reverse diet, it's much slower. So with the reverse diet series, I was posting like maybe once a month. Yeah. And then I've just, I don't know, there's really no excuse other than I've just kind of like fallen off. And then also like insecurity about being more full right in, in my body like i get in my head too girl don't worry <laughs> don't worry but we just persist like we just keep going even though we have the self-doubt we just keep pushing anyways not only that but my training hasn't been like four to five days a week most weeks it's been closer to three times a week it's been feeling like especially this week we're going to travel again so again it's going to be only three sessions this week so today, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm just gonna get three full body days just to make sure I have all my bases covered. Something that I'm proud of myself for is I'm still going. Like I've been relentless. Like that's been the word that's been bouncing in my head. Props to 
Elanoa McCabe. She has like the Relentless podcast and I'll listen to it sometimes. And I really like how that feels when I say it out loud. Like I am relentless. Try and fucking stop me, bitch. And relentless just means to me that against all odds, like at all costs, I will persist. And getting out of my head about this idea that it has to be perfect, like that I have to be perfect at this lifestyle, that if I'm not in 100%, I can't be in at all. And so lately I've been really embracing fucking fans outside of my windows. Just turned on. I hope you can't hear that. But what was I saying? Yeah, lately I've been operating at like a crisp 50%, maybe a little bit more just because my nutrition's been pretty on point. Like I haven't been tracking perfectly. I haven't been getting steps perfectly. I haven't been sleeping that well. Like there's a lot of things that I haven't been on my shit about, but I've just been showing up, girl. Like I've been training at least three times a week. Like there's still a lot of things that I've been doing and, and I've still been seeing progress. I've still been getting stronger. I've still been seeing growth. And it's just trying my damn hardest to get the fuck out of my head so that I can keep showing up, right? So I can pull back the reins a little bit and um, adhere to a certain level that I can actually stick with. So those are my thoughts on that, okay? There's a lot more on my mind, but... Maybe we'll make this um, episode also a reverse diet check-in. In fact, we're going to do just that and we can keep things interesting. Okay, we're going to do a physique check-in a little bit different than... Hold on, I need to change the... Can you see me? Okay, let's do a little physique check-in. This is not <laughs> what we're used to. Um, usually I do my physique check-ins vertically on my phone. And I will uh, paste it on the screen. We're changing everything up today. We're doing whatever I want, okay? Usually, I wear a specific bra and undies. Today, my chuchi is not, did not prepare for this event. I didn't prepare at all, okay? We're just, we're doing the bare minute. Like, we're just showing up today, okay? Um, so, this is what we are currently looking like. And I think she looks fine. Um, I think my backside is where I hold the majority of my fat. And that's where I feel the most insecure. I also feel like when I'm relaxed, um, I still have like a decent percent of body fat. And I can sometimes get in my head when I'm wearing like a bikini. And it squeezes me in certain ways that maybe isn't the most flattering. Um, but like when I'm walking around the house in like my underwear, I feel really confident or when I'm wearing like clothes, like that doesn't squeeze me, I can feel really confident. So like this top, it holds me in all the right places without squeezing me. Same for these shorts. Um, I'm really happy with my quad growth, my quad size. I've been really happy with my shoulder growth lately. Hold on, this is my good side. Um, my waist hasn't been the most snatched, but fuck it. Because the ass is fat right now. Yeah, this morning I weighed in at 142.7. I've been pretty consistently holding the low 140s, which makes me feel really good because I would love to start... The next cut in the low 140s so by the end of the cut for the first time in like maybe a decade um i'm gonna be holding the low 130s that's my next goal to hold the low 130s and then slowly so i have like a really nice lean like very lean starting point to start the next growing phase so that's the tea i'll catch you later <laughs> just got back from the hot girl walk with my client. I'm about to get on two other back-to-back -back calls with clients and I can show you kind of what that looks like. 
I made breakfast after my 8 a.m. client, and I have 15 minutes to eat it. I had a 12.30, but she canceled. So I'll probably, honestly, go hit the gym after my last two a.m. sessions. I still am not sure if I'm going to go to the crunch fitness or if I'll just work out down here. Honestly, I have two hours, so I'll probably go to the crunch because I'm already ready. Go to the crunch, have a nice change of scenery because lately I've been having to work out at the YMCA, which is where I work. I take some in-person clients at the YMCA and it's just not the vibe, dude. And we just got back from California and the gym that we worked out at, it was in San Diego. It's called, I think it's called Ocean Pacific Beach Gym. It was so badass. Like, me and my boyfriend were in disbelief at how beautiful and shredded and tan everybody was. And it was just motivating. Like, it just makes you want to go in there and freaking work. You know? We had so much fun. Literally, y'all, we went to San Diego for, like, four days. Okay? And all we did there was we would wake up, go to a local coffee shop, get really good coffee, okay? Then we would go to the gym. Then we would get pokey. And then we would go lay on the beach and maybe have a couple drinks. That's all we did the entire long weekend. And it was literally probably one of the best vacations I've ever had because it was truly to its core a vacation and that we got to do exactly what we wanted to do. Like there was no pressure to like sightsee or, you know what I mean? Or like have a really full itinerary. <sighs> so yeah. So yeah, I'll probably go to the crunch even though it's not San Diego. Oh, details about my breakfast. Egg, one egg, 100 grams of egg whites. Melon, bagel and cream cheese. Earlier this morning, I had the other half of this bagel with cream cheese. And I had my coffee. Usually I'd have both halves of the bagel and the coffee at the same time with the rest of my breakfast. But I'm actually super proud of this and I feel like I've never shown how I carry out a live call with my client. So I'm actually gonna share my laptop screen with you and I'm gonna freaking show you how I do it. I think it's super interesting to see how coaches run their stuff. So whether you're someone who's considering coaching or another coach looking for ideas, I thought this would be fun to share. So as you can see, all of my clients have a literally just a google spreadsheet like this so in the past i've used like coaching apps and they've always been cumbersome to use in my opinion and they've never done what i've wanted them to do um hopefully one day i'll be able to make an app of my own that actually has all the features that i want but for now literally i think google spreadsheets is super customizable so i like some clients have certain features and like spreadsheets that other clients don't have like some clients have like a food journal spreadsheet and other clients might not need this but all of my clients pretty much have the same training spreadsheet um, until a, a client comes around and they present like a different format that they think is best for them I'm totally open to that but this is the one that I kind of create for my clients um, so as you can see it has the workout the four, four to five to six, however many exercises they're doing that day. And then it has a video demo of how to do that exercise with really good form. Like I'm linking video demos from like Dr. Mike. You know what I mean? Like really good fucking people that I look up to. Johnny Shreve, uh, uh, Jeff Nipper, like people who have really good form demos. And then for this specific client, we're going to be on a virtual call. So she's going to FaceTime me. I'm going to answer through my laptop. I'm going to pull up her workout over here on this side and or her video call on this side and then her workout goes on this side and then as she's performing the exercises, I personally will fill in her data. And then whenever she works out alone, she can fill out her data herself. But it's just a nice little touch that if I'm going to be in the session with you, I can I don't mind doing that for my clients. Um, but how cool is that? So we have all of these records of past workouts to see how she's been improving. This is her fourth block that we've created together. 
Um, so we have a lot more data where that came from. Alrighty then, my 10.30 a.m. call, canceled last minute, just got off a call from my 9.30 call and it was a really great call. Like sometimes you just have really productive sessions with yourself and with your clients and um, I've been having good sessions with my clients today so I feel like I'm gonna have a very productive session myself. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym right now since my schedule opened up. Hit a nice full body pump since I only have three days to work out this week and that's what we're getting into. I'm gonna see if I can get some clips at the gym so let's go. So last week I had like a really rough week mentally and like, yeah, sure, I think post-vacation depression is a thing, like post-concert blues is a thing, but I really hate to live, I would really hate to live in a world where I was always just looking for the next vacation. Um, I wanna live in a world where I at least don't hate my life, you know what I mean? Or I at least semi enjoy what I do. And luckily for me, I'm blessed to where I do enjoy what I do but I think that I had been spreading myself too thin and I think that's kind of what triggered post-vacation depression. It was going to live this dream life where literally our days were so perfect in my opinion um, and I just had time to live my life and be leisurely and I think there's something really important to that. Like I don't think we were designed to constantly be working and on, and on the go and some people might argue and be like, well, if you want to achieve like amazing things, you need to be willing to have like trade-offs or whatever. You need to understand there's consequences to being an entrepreneur or whatever. And I think there's a lot of truth into all of that. And I'm sure that I could always be working harder. But basically what I'm trying to say is, bitch, I think I needed a break. And so I was feeling a lot of feelings last week, y'all. Like I was feeling low-key to pray, pray. And it ultimately led me to the decision that I'm gonna see what happens if I try doing Strong Girls Club, which is my personal business Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then only doing the gym that I work out Tuesdays and Thursdays and trying to kind of at least have more structure in my week. I think I really struggle to set boundaries, not only with others, but with myself. Um, and I think I'm finally at a place where I'm busy enough. I have enough clients to where if I don't set these boundaries, I will burnt out, burn out. And I think I was feeling the beginnings of what could be a burnout last week. And so I've been having a great day today and I think it's because I think that's literally all I needed to do was just ad adjust my freaking schedule so that I didn't feel like I was freaking drowning all the time. And my one coworker was like, you might lose clients though because your days are limited. And I'm like, dude, I, at this point, I'm okay with that. Like I'll lose clients in the short term so I can gain more in the long term because I'm able to do my job better because I don't feel like I'm drowning. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let's go to the gym. Girly Pops, tell me why I've literally been kind of loving the full body vibe lately these days like I already talked about. Um, I've It's been a little bit more difficult to make it to the gym and three times a week has become my new normal. So I, I actually absolutely loved this workout. But look how yummy my RDLs look. Dude, look how I'm like pushing my hips back. The stretch felt so good lately. I've been getting better at and better at my landmine RDLs. They feel freaking incredible. And I've only been getting stronger at them. Slay, slay, slay. Look at that grounded. Love that for me. Okay, leg press. I wish I had my heeled lifting shoes for this, but notice how my feet are lower on the platform. It's because I'm trying to get more bend in my knee. The issue is that a bitch has no ankle mobility, so I can only do so much. But these days, I've been able to do two plates, which feels nice. Love that for her. Oh, I had to back off. Look, I had to back off. Put a little 25 on. No big deal. So I could keep pushing and get higher reps on this specific day. I guess I just really wanted high reps. And the pump I get when I'm able to push leg press 
as hard as a mother is awesome. Look, I literally can only go that low. Because my ankles won't let me. Bitch. Um, I'm not sure why I put these together. Oh, I think I know. I think because I filmed them vertically on my iPhone. So I wanted them to fit the entire page. But then I did these like super heel elevated squats. They're basically kind of like a version of sissy squats. And then I also did lateral raises because I want my shoulders to grow so freaking bad. And that was my workout. Super simple. Slide. What up? I'm back from the gym. I meant to do a full body sesh, but I got a little carried away with legs. I'm not even going to lie. I was having a little bit too much fun. Um, and so I ended up just doing legs and then I did four sets of shoulder lateral raises. This is rice. I did an oven baked chicken. I didn't, I don't have a recipe for it. I literally just pulled it out of my butt hole. It's fine. And I put honey mustard on top. But yeah, that was the best workout I've had since coming back from California. All right, I'm gonna finish this. I have a client call after this. And then, very boring, gonna do client check-ins. Then I have another client and then that's literally gonna be my day. Ooh. That was 12. Hey girlies, um, it's the end of the day. Just got done with my in-person session, my virtual uh, check-in call. Um, time to make meal number four. Hopefully it's my last meal today because I don't wanna deal with another meal. I'll honestly probably go, I'm deciding if I'm just, if I just call it a night, like I literally just curl up, like walk my dog, shower finish my day or if i want to go downstairs and deep clean the basement because what i didn't realize is that in the summertime when you leave the ac to the basement turned off the basement gets muggy especially if you live in the south and it grows mold so I found mold growing on some of my like older weight plates. I had to like bleach those, like clean them in Clorox. Um, and now I wanna finish like cleaning, vacuuming, like giving the basement like a nice deep clean. It probably wouldn't even take me super fucking long. I'm just like putting it off. But let's make this meal first and then we'll decide together what the fuck I'm gonna do with my life. Big fat ass bowl of cream of wheat. I prefer cream of rice, but I haven't bought it in a while and cream of wheat is what I have left over. But I also like cream of wheat, like I don't hate it. Oh, this is gonna go bad like in two days. Look, I'm gonna put some liquid stevia and I'm gonna put some French vanilla sugar-free because your girl likes it sweet. Cook that down, we're gonna top with strawberries, banana we're gonna top with dark chocolate and peanut butter so i still have like 200 calories left <laughs> jesus christ we have these like dumplings that i need to eat that are in the freezer oh, wait or did i already eat them no they're in there literally just a big bowl of mush but I'm gonna sit down. Let me freaking try to, try to enjoy my meal. And then I'll circle back. Girl, a lot has happened. So last time I talked to you, I was having my little cream of wheat bowl. Shortly after I was done with that, I committed. I fully committed and I went to the basement and I cleaned everything. So the gym is finally clean. The floors, like the weights, deep, like everything got to rub down. Then I showered, of course, cause I smelled like cleaning product after I was done. And I'm a little heavy on the hand with the cleaning product. Um, I still haven't figured out how to not be insane with it. But I showered cause my hair was a nasty, as you saw. And then honestly, fuck it, I'm gonna eat those dumplings.
because it's always a nice feeling whenever it's hard to hit my calorie goal. But let me tell you something that I do. I like psych myself out and because it's hard to hit my calorie goal, I'll feel like I should eat less, which I know, especially if my clients are watching this, they're being like, bitch, you literally make us eat it anyways. Like, what are you talking about? And you're right. I'll psych myself out and I'll be like, oh, well, I'm not that hungry today, so I shouldn't eat 2,500 because I'm afraid to get too thick. And I have to tell that bitch to shut up. And I'm actually glad that I'm filming this vlog today because otherwise, honestly, I probably would have listened to that dumbass bitch. I probably would have listened to her, but no. Yeah, but I, this is a good sign, right? When it's getting a little harder to eat as much as you should. That's how you know you're approaching. First of all, that's how you know you're making fucking gains because you're fueling the fuck up. And then number two, that's how you know you're getting to a good place, at least psychologically and metabolically, I would say, where you're gonna go, you're gonna set yourself up real nice for a fat loss phase. I've talked about this a lot, but the best feeling ever is going into a fat loss phase, hating eating. Cause duh, that's exactly what you wanna do when you're in a fat loss phase is eat less. So when you're like, you've eaten so much and you've worked your calories up so high and um, it's just getting harder and harder to eat, that's how I know that I'm gonna have a smooth sailing fat loss phase. It's like you're ready for the fat loss phase. You welcome it with open arms, you know what I mean? As opposed to going to the fat loss, going into the fat loss phase like fucking dreading your fucking life. Yeah, that's it. I'm really thirsty now. So let's go drink water, walk the dog, eat some gyoza dumplings. And it's 8 o'clock, so just in time. I have about an hour before I want to be in bed so that I have a whole hour to wind down. What time do I got to be up tomorrow, actually? I don't have to be up tomorrow till like 6.30. So perfect life timing. Okay. Check this out. Trying to pick up my dumpling. Girl. Come here. Last meal of the day. Mm -hmm. Dumplings are so bomb. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.